All right, I wanted to show off some uh, some strange Nixie tubes today. Um, I've shown this uh, clock before. I have a video on me uh, building this clock, I think. Um, and it's all TTL, TTL logic. It uses the uh, 60 hertz from a transformer uh, to do the uh, uh, master clock. And uh, if I can, uh, let me briefly turn off the uh, turn off the room lights. If I can find the control, there we go. There we go. Very cool Nixies. I don't remember which uh, IN34, I forget what these things are. Anyway, they're very, 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 very popular too, but I think they're probably the easiest to get a hold of in quantity and stuff. And uh, they're very reasonably priced. Um, I bought the circuit board off of eBay, I remember. And uh, I had to find all the parts for it. It was just the, uh, just the circuit board itself. It has a little, uh, DC to DC converter to up convert to a hundred and I think it's 160 volts, 170 volts, something like that, um, to, to run the Nixies. Then it's got some high voltage drivers and, uh, I couldn't find any, uh, Texas instrument, uh, drivers, uh, but I did find Russian equivalents. Um, and so I have Russian uh, high voltage drivers for the, uh, for the Nixies, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about some strange Nixie tubes that I have. Uh, so let's take a look at those. All right. Um, I do not remember where I got these. Um, there, there are a whole bunch of these little Nixies and the sockets go with them. I actually have more sockets than I do, uh, that I do Nixies. So I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure where I got these, but they're all the same and they're a, a little tiny little tube. Um, so I think I bought them thinking, well, I don't know. I like Nixie, so I, I must have just got them. I, I just, I have no recollection at all where I got these things, but they, they turned out to be uh, very strange tubes. Um, let's see here if I can get a part number off of them. They are National Electronic. Let me get my, my magnifying glass here. Uh, they're made by National Electronics, which I've never heard of before. These are 1979. There's a date code here. 1979, 34th week of 1979. Um, made in England. Uh, cool. So it's National Electronics, Geneva, Illinois, which is, sounds like a, sounds like a U.S. company, but made in England. So very strange, but the part number is a five, eight, six, six, five, eight, six, six. You can find a day sheet on them, uh, uh, Googling it. Uh, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to light one up and, uh, I'm going to do that. I need a high voltage power supply. So I'm going to use this thing. Uh, we saw this before it can output up to 500 volts and it has a variable, adjust and a, and a meter so I can adjust this to any voltage I want. It's for capacitor testers, but it'll adjust anything and it's low current, but it'll be enough to drive a Nixie, I'm sure. Um, and then I've got a Nixie over here in the, uh, uh, right there. And I'll, I'll, I'll move the camera in closer so you can take a look at the Nixie while I light it up. But what I'm going to be doing is, uh, uh, connecting to the, uh, plus and minus leads here. Um, I, I have a hundred, I mean, I have a, um, a one K resistor in series just to limit current in case something funny happened. Uh, and the Nixies should fire around 170 volts above 170 volts. I think that's the maximum that they'll fire at at least 170 volts. And, uh, then they have a quiescent operating current of 145 volts. So that's why I have that uh, resistor in there as well, because they fire at a high voltage, but then they start clamping down at a lower voltage around 145 volts. So um, yeah, let me, uh, I have uh, the, the anode hooked up and then the, uh, uh, the ground, ground lead, I'm going to poke around on those different leads and we'll light up the different, uh, different segments of the display. They're basically just a neon light bulb with just different pieces of sculptured metal uh, that glows different, uh, different signals. So they're different shapes, right? Um, so yeah, let me, uh, let me change camera lenses and we'll get up, get up close to this little guy before we light him up. Okay. Um, so here's the, uh, here's the little bulb here and there's a little socket on it and I have the anode hooked up. Like I said, let's hook up, uh, something. 
There's a whole bunch of leads on this thing. So here's one. Uh, that's a decimal point. And there we go. There's a plus. There's a plus sign. Uh, let's see if we can go through all of the pins here. There's a couple decimal points which I don't quite understand why there, why there are, but there are. And that's my coolest. Oops, that's the coolest thing on there. I don't know why. There's a sine wave. That's pretty cool. And here's a minus sign. And then the only other thing is this weird, let's see if we can get it going all the time. Yeah, this one. So this one's really strange. Um, it's just kind of everything's lit up. That back, back thing is all lit up. So I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's a plus and a minus and a sine wave. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there's the plus and there's a minus in the sine wave. That's cool. Uh, then, the, then the really weird thing is that spiral, though. I don't know. Oops. Oh, my God. My thing's about to fall out. Just a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> my setup here is a little... I didn't want to grab the, grab the glass very tight. I didn't want to shatter it. So when I'm poking around here, it was moving. But yeah, that guy there. Why would you need that in an Ixie tube? That like, oh, crazy things are going on or some kind of hypnotic state. I don't know. <laughs> Very strange. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. There's, there's that minus sign again. There's the minus and there's the plus. Anyway, uh, weird little Nixie tubes. Don't know what, know, know what they were used in. Don't know why it has strange symbols on it. But uh, yeah, somebody decided to make them.